Okay, so the first thing that's probably the easiest is to do the uh, outside part. I'm on an, a separate layer above this, so all these others I can lock into it so I'm not inadvertently touching them or moving them. Using the rounded uh, rectangle, I'm just going to click on the default and go ahead and click and drag and use the arrow keys again is one way that I can increase that overall shape and just pinpoint it with a white fill so at least you can see that section to it <coughs> to approximate it. And again, using the direct selection tool can change that parameter. So I'm just going to keep it tight right up into there. Take the selection tool, select this rectangle, even though it's a photo reference and just go to Object Path and go to Offset the Path. And what happens when it does this, it's under the ruler guides or under Pikas, so you can see it. A little bit smaller, I can click inside here and increase or decrease. I'm going to place it within itself, give a little bit of a border there, click OK, and go ahead and use that as the initial uh, selection. Click the X so that now I have this red uh, Part right in here. So here's the here's the coloring for it. It is red. I'm going to take off the uh, fill, and with the stroke, I'm just going to increase the stroke. And you'll see that it's on the center. So I'm going to put it onto the inside and decrease it that way, so it has that initial selection to it. Here's the type, the fire laid out. Uh, just Command Shift and bring it to the front. Also bring that with a color of red. Change the uh, outline so it doesn't have a stroke to it. But when you take a look at this uh, lettering and you have the character panel open and also the section for the type, I'm going to bring that open as well. And paragraph, so it gives me both both options. I'll just bring them back into their correct window here. So here's this selection here. Here's the paragraph right in the character. So here it is a centered, justified left or right. Easiest is to just keep it as a centered text. Go into the character and again now this is the spacing in between the lines of type, the letting. And when they did this sign, they have actually just grabbed it from the, the corner and spread it out. They didn't really do too much as far as changing any of the graphics, but Fire Lane, they've actually made a little bit larger than the rest of the font. So you can highlight Fire Lane. You can, if you increase the point size, It'll show up, you'll see it kind of goes on top of itself. And that's when you have to go back into paragraph and or back into the kerning and the letting part and see if you can increase that a little bit. <coughs> so they've had a little bit of a spacing issue as they go through this. And when you take a look at the percentage of the type that's here for the vertical and horizontal spacing down at the bottom, you can get an idea of how you can also um, increase that. So here it is, horizontal or vertical. I'm just going to stretch this out a little bit so you can kind of see that section. Okay, so fire lane is in there. And if it gets too large, just highlight the text. It's all one text box. So it allows you to adjust it just slight, ever so slightly. These are three items, two rectangles in the type, so you can just align them vertical and group that together. And that again makes that outside sign pretty easy to see for that. And then again, taking a look at the <coughs> shape for the sign, I'll just draw a rectangle. Again, I'm just going to use the green, take the line segment, shift key that, make that a sign itself, and increase that. So now the stroke is 
caps there, the dashed line. Just going to put it so it's rounded caps. Put this at zero and just increase the gap between them and increase the space beyond them. And then just go to object path. So you want to outline that stroke. Okay. And just kind of bring it to the same height. You can kind of see the shape. Just bump it up a bit. Highlight the both of them. Just align that centered. And that'll give you the, the dots in between. So it gives you the pretty quick selection for that. There's the pathfinder. And then just take the rectangle tool again. Create a thin piece. Lighter green. Just place it right there. Give you the option to duplicate it. Select all three and just use the align panel the items going to the top, and that's what you have. And again, you can use a, a gradient on the inside of this. Here's the gradient tool. And when you take a look at the gradient editor, just go from radial to linear, and that'll give you a, a selection to choose from put forward to backward. And just hold the shift key, it'll give you that color double-click on it, get a darker green. Take some of these off, stretch this down. Stretch this down here. Like so, take that off. And then just group this together. Again, select these items, just highlight the center of it. Send this one to the back back, just bracket it once or twice, group that together, and have that particular size. 